But the avian flu has made a documented leap from birds to mammals here in Michigan. That's now prompting a new warning for anyone with birds in their backyard, sharing the environment with their household pets. Paula Tupman joins us from Walcott Metro Park to talk about some of the concerns over this cross species infection. Paula. Hi, Sandra. Hi, everybody. I don't know if you've ever been to Walcott Mill Farm Center in Ray Township. It's one of our metro parks. It's a bit of a drive depending on where you live. It's well worth it. It's absolutely beautiful here. But when you come here, make sure you don't reach in. You don't try to touch the chickens, the ducks, the geese or the waterfowl. And before you jump in your car, you really need to think very carefully about wiping down your shoes very, very well. It's believed to be the first documented case of HPAI, or the avian or bird flu, leaping from bird to mammal in Michigan. This fox kit named Lefty, originally found in Macomb County and taken to Attica, Michigan. To Erica Zulke, a licensed vet tech and the founder of Critter Crossing Rescue, a licensed in-home wildlife rehab organization. Now, at first, she wasn't sure what she was looking at when she had three litters of sick fox kits from different parts of Southeast Michigan. Seizures, very high fever, um, general neurological um, issues and mobility issues. It soon became clear these were cases of avian flu and tests from the DNR confirmed it. The kits were transported to the Howell Nature Center, but Lefty is the only one that survived but has been rendered blind by the virus. We don't want to cause panic and we're not sure, but you know, this does lend itself that we need to take precautions with our pets, you know, and, and one of those big pieces would be to keep our cats indoors. Um, and another big piece is this is something that is transmittable through um, feces and things like that. So keeping your, your yard clean of, of animal droppings. The DNR reports the avian flu has been found in Macomb, Lapeer, and St. Clair counties. The USDA has Michigan on its radar for cases in Livingston, Roscommon, Tuscola, Chippewa, and Iosco counties. This one is particularly um, dangerous to um, primarily to wild birds. Um, and then it has uh, hit some you know, backyard chicken flock as well as recently a commercial flock. So that is a concern of ours. And while there is no sign that the virus has jumped to humans, keeping it from spreading to wild birds and domestic poultry flocks, metro parks and commercial farms alike is something everyone can help with. Don't go from a place where there's a lot of birds to another place where there's a lot of birds because then you could be participating and transmitting it. Yeah, start there. Hey there. Yeah, I'm sorry about that because I wanted to show my partner this bird at the feeder. This is really one of the issues, and that is the wild birds are able to fly in and out, and they can also communicate with these, these waterfowl as well as sometimes chickens. And, and so there's things that you really need to do to make sure that you're protecting your yard as well as your pets because, again, what you take out of here, you also take to your yard. So join us at six. We've got some very specific things that you can do to actually help tamp down the avian flu, even though they don't think it's a danger to humans. They know it's a danger to other animals right now. Sandra. All right, we'll see you at six. Thank you, Paula.